Hi everybody, uh, Richard Trovers here again at Artificial Lawyer TV. Uh, we're doing another product walkthrough today. Uh, the company in question is Contract One, which is a contract negotiation and collaboration tool. With us to tell us a bit more about this is the founder, Anton. Hi, Anton. Hi, Richard. Um, so I think so. The viewers want to see how this thing works. So let, let's get straight into it, and then we can do a couple of questions at the end. So if you could share your screen and give us a quick walkthrough, please. Sure. Okay. So um, basically, Contract One is a, a platform for collaborative contracting. So we help to collaborate, review, approve, and negotiate contracts um, with more clarity and, and uh, much more efficiently. So you would typically start in Microsoft Word where you would make the first draft and instead of sending it by email to your colleagues or the counterpart, you could drag and drop it into contract one and this is where uh, the rest of the work will happen. Um, so here's how it works. Let's start with Teams. Um, contract one is not like Google Docs where everybody sees what's going on in the document, including the other party, which I think makes no sense. So instead in contract one, you would have an internal team. This could be your law firm or your legal department. You can probably add your client into your internal team and there'll be an external team. That's usually the counterpart. Now um, you would collaborate internally simultaneously. You don't need to do check in, check out the document. So that saves a lot of time. The other party doesn't see what you're doing until you actually send it to them. When you do, they start working on the contract uh, themselves and then you kind of don't see what's going on there. Um, it's really easy to invite external parties because it's free for them. They don't need to install anything. Um, so, and here's what the interface looks like. There are two main parts, the document itself and communication attached to it. Um, so we try to move away from standard uh, emails, those endless chains of emails. Uh, we you know, kind of have to search for particular information or those bunches of comments nicely mixed with formatting. Um, instead, we are doing very structured co uh, communication. They can, the conversations can be internal, something that you can't forward by mistake to the other party. Uh, nobody sees them. And external, something that both parties do uh, see and work on. Um, the communication happens always next to a particular clause, so it's it's very structured. You don't need to kind of search for, for a, a place to, to make those changes. And the changes also happen on the same screen, the same layer. So track changes, um, we think that something that we have in Microsoft Word is not really sufficient for um, complex contract work and uh, we build track changes from the ground up. Now, the first challenge that, um, that I have in my practice and, and, and my clients do have that is that you don't necessarily trust the changes from the other party. Um, you don't know whether these are all the changes, whether they accepted something or, or, or uh, in any case, you would need to uh, probably run a comparison. So in contract one, you always have yeah, changes visible. So whenever somebody makes them, you see them. Um, because everything is happening within the same platform, uh, you can't really trick the other party by hiding something. Another thing is the way we work, we accept and decline those changes. So in standard tools, when you accept or decline changes, they disappear forever. So then you need to come up with some way to, to either comment them or invent some colors to, to, to show that uh, you agreed with, with something. In contract one, changes and, uh, are really visible. So whenever you get a document from the other party, you actually see what they accepted, what they declined, and uh, what they uh, haven't worked on yet. And uh, you always have, um, a uh, detailed history of uh, every change so that you would uh, kind of understand one that happens. What is also important is that there are lots of changes internally and you don't want the other party to see them. 
So we uh, only show this complete history to you, the other party sees uh, the end result. To focus, um, you can actually mute them. That's especially helpful when you get a document with tens or maybe hundreds of changes all read and you kind of need to take for yourself what you, you saw on what you agree to uh, with uh, and uh, something that you still need to pay attention to. Another thing is versions. So versions uh, can be troublesome. Even if you have some valid naming conventions within your firm or maybe document management systems internally, whenever the version leaves your company, this is when the mess starts. So in contract one, there's always a correct version. So if it lets you edit it, that means that's the, that's the right one. If it lets you send it, that's the right one. Um, but not only, you know, versions work beautifully. There's a completely different approach to how you see those changes you, you, and you find those, those versions. So in a standard tool, um, you would probably have to locate the correct version, compare, uh, then the, uh, compare them and uh, find out those changes. So we think it should be done uh, visually and in a different way in contract one. So instead we have this time machine. Uh, whenever you uh, want to see the history of any particular paragraph, you just kind of rewind the time machine and you see how uh, the paragraph evolved uh, over time. Um, and finally, um, to make sure that the document doesn't uh, leak to the other party before it's ready, uh, you can set up um, approvals um, without which the document just won't be able to, to leave uh, your team. Well, in a nutshell, this is uh, what it is. There's a, uh, there are a million of other things there, but uh, uh, it kind of helps to negotiate and uh, collaborate in a simpler way, uh, more intuitive and kind of more visual. Excellent. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Anton. That was uh, very interesting. Actually, uh, I thought the time machine was very interesting. I thought that was a that was a good, uh, it's a really good addition to the to the platform. I can see that being very useful. So, just very quickly, just a couple of questions. So, this is your 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 at what stage now? So your your past seed, your past beta. Where where are you? We've been um, developing contracts one for uh, for over two years, and uh, we've been testing it for for the past year. So we're releasing it publicly uh, now. Uh, we do have a few first clients, and uh, uh, we have extensive uh, testing experience already. Gotcha. So if if a law firm is watching this, or an in-house legal team is watching this. Uh, how do they get hold of it and how much does it cost? So um, they just get licenses like uh, with every you know, SaaS uh, product. The, the pricing is, uh, the standard pricing is uh, $49 per user per month, um, but it's uh, less with, uh, with more users. Gotcha. So and, and sort of last thing really, um, I mean, who are your main competitors now? I mean, this, this, I think the price point and the, the fact that it's quite comprehensive, I can see this competing against some of the other companies in the market. I mean, who, who are your main competitors here? Well, to some extent, we compete with uh, document management and contract management systems. But um, I think we kind of really focused on the main part of the contract process meaning uh, negotiations and collaboration, the part where the most of the time is spent. So, and I think we, we have kind of um, inch wide, wide, mile deep approach to, uh, to making this stage work uh, really, really smoothly. So, um, like I said, to some extent, this, is, uh, this will be document management systems, but uh, I think we very focused on this part of uh, contract process. Awesome. Uh, just, just last question, just a technical one. Uh, most lawyers, as we all know, are operating in Word. So they start off in Word. Uh, they then jump on to contract one. 
they work through contract one and then they jump back out to a final version of Word or how does that work? Well, you can finalize um, contract in contract one. Uh, if you need, you can download it uh, at any point and any version uh, into back into Word. Um, so, but the main point is whenever you have a document through the entire process in contract one, you can actually track the entire history. Gotcha. So, so if, if you want to stay completely in contract one, you can. If both parties are using contract one, you can do it. Yeah. Actually, that, just actually, I was, that was going to be the final question, but I've just thought of one other one. Let's say you're a law firm and you're using contract one and the other party isn't using it. Uh, but you know that it's going to be a lot easier if you all work from the same platform. What happens then? Can you like give them free access or how does that work? Yeah, so it's uh, really easy to invite the external party to contract one because it's free for them. They don't need to install anything. Um, they just get a link, click on it, quickly register and they're there. Gotcha, gotcha. Key point. Well, thanks, Anton. I can see this being uh, of a lot of interest to people. So thank you very much for that. And there will be a link uh, at the end. And uh, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Richard.